keep off the tracks. Near Henry's Forest is a foot crossing. Members of the public have to wait behind the gate until the line is clear and then safely walk across the tracks. One day, a group of children reached the crossing. They waited for Henry to pass by. And then began to cross over the tracks. Hey, I've got an idea, said one of the children. Why don't we walk down the railway line? Isn't that illegal? One of the others said. And dangerous, agreed the third. Come on, there won't be a train for ages. You guys are just chicken. The other two kids did not like being called chicken. So they carelessly followed their friend off the crossing and onto the tracks. At first, the kids found it exciting. They began to climb on the rails and jump from sleeper to sleeper. Everything was fine. Until... Can you hear something? What? There's like a rumble. And it's getting louder. Oh no, there's a train coming. Get off the tracks! jumped just in time. Gordon had a heavy train and had been picking up speed when he saw the kids. His driver didn't even have time to apply the brakes. He stopped a few miles down the line. He was badly shaken. We didn't hit them he whimpered, but we almost did. Gordon's driver and fireman were equally shaken. And the train had to be taken by another engine. As for the kids, they had run back home before the police arrived at the scene. It's disgraceful, James spluttered. We are big and heavy machines and could cause some serious harm to people. Why do they think they can wander around the tracks as they please? And thank goodness Gordon is so noisy. I mean, imagine if they were a diesel or an electric engine. They probably wouldn't have heard him. Poor Gordon is now stuck in the yards, Toby sighed. It'll take him a while to get over something like that. These people, they never think about how it can affect the engines and their crew. They're so selfish. Gordon stayed in the yards for several weeks. He barely spoke to anyone. The other engines felt dreadfully sorry for him. Even the diesels. Such a terrible thing to happen, Diesel said. Trespasses are a disgrace, Harry agreed. Poor old Gordon, Bert sighed. Two of the kids came to the station to watch the trains. They were surprised to see that Gordon wasn't pulling the express. Where's Gordon? they asked. He's still recovering from a nasty near miss, the fat controller said. Some silly kids played on the line and he nearly hit them. He's deeply shaken. The kids felt awful. 
Excuse me, sir, they said. But we were the kids on the track. We didn't realize it would be so bad. You kids were trespassing. That is not only illegal, but it's very dangerous. You could have gotten seriously hurt. We know. We're sorry. Mm -hmm. I think there's someone else you should say sorry to. Gordon, we're sorry, the kid said to the blue engine. We never wanted to cause you so much stress. It's okay, Gordon said. Thank you for apologising. A real way you can be sorry is to tell all your friends to never, ever walk or play on the tracks again. Ever. Of course, they said. The fat controller had workers put up signs at crossings and stations, telling people to not trespass. He also had a footbridge built over the crossing where Gordon had his near miss, so the blue engine didn't have to be reminded every time he passed. Unfortunately, people were, and still are, careless around crossings, and often trespass on the railway. Some think it's cool, some are trying to take a shortcut, some are just impatient, and none of them think about the impact it can have on the engines and their crew. A message out to all people. Please, never trespass on the railway. Ever. Trains are faster and quieter than you think. They won't be able to stop in time, and it causes serious damage to the mental health of the drivers of the trains involved. Please, think twice. Thank you.